just down at uh, BJR, chatting to my old boss, actually, Bradley Jones. Ugly! Oh, oh no! Holdsworth oh, and Davison! Oh, oh, my no. goodness! It's a big crash. Man, that's Caruso. Over the top. It was Michael Caruso. That, that was a shocking incident. Could, oh, my goodness me. Twice in two days in the same spot. And uh, I think I heard Will say it was completely over the top. Let's check this out. This is the hit. So that turns him around. But 22 actually turns over. Oh. Oh. That's fuel at the back of Will's car. That is such a fast section of road. So sorry, it didn't turn over, but it turned right up. There's been a major incident here at Sandown International Motor Raceway. That's Lee Holdsworth getting into the medical car and the stricken bends in the foreground. Immediately when the car came to a halt, Lee was on the radio and said something went majorly wrong with the car as I turned it in. And as a result, it has hit the wall, been torn apart. The race has been neutralised by the Petters Chrysler safety car and all the margins that we talked about have disappeared. The good news, Holdsworth is walking about. He was, oh, he lost control. He said over the radio. That is a shocking oh, incident. He said he lost control before the braking area. That's 265 kilometers an hour. Check that out. I've never seen a car go off the road as fast as that at that spot. Man, look, check this real time. As soon as it came to a halt, I heard Lee on the radio straight away, but the forces that have gone through that car, and in turn him, would be very big numbers. Golding running a little wide on the exit of four in car number 34. That was seriously wild, because Luke Yulton was caught at turn two and three. They're all bumping each other as they come up this amazingly oh, off. He's in the fence. He's in the fence. That's a huge, That's huge, a huge crash. So this is James Golding. That's a nasty one. This will trigger the Lexus RCF safety car. There was a, a problem, an evident problem in the front right-hand corner of that car. And it's pitched him straight into the wall at the end of the back straight. Focus on the right front corner of the Volvo. As soon as the brake is applied, yeah. the tyre lets go. And there is no chance of steering that car. On the outside of Jack Perkins, very, very heavy contact with the wall. Thankfully, protected by the tyre barriers down there. So here we are on board with James Golding. So this is the car that's ended up in the wall at the end of the back straight. Now, I called him running wide here at four. He climbed back on, he was sliding here, he's had a look in his mirrors. So let's just listen and look. Is a massive accident. As we go back and look at an interesting battle here with David Russell, car number 78 on the outside of him is Todd Hazelwood. Oh, big trouble! Big trouble at the end of the back straight, and that's a terrible oh! incident. A terrible incident for Hazelwood. My goodness me, that is a shocker. This will be a red flag. Jonathan Webb is the other partner in this. Here he is. Well done, and well done to all the marshals and medical staff and officials. It's always great to see our drivers in such capable hands. And those tyres again at the end of the straight have done a magnificent job of arresting the speed and yeah. coping with those forces. But as you can see there, everyone held their breath. We talked about David Russell in car number 78. Todd Hazelwood's in the blue car on the outside. Jonathan Webb's down the inside in car number 19. Webby's got locked up under the back of the Nissan, tagged Hazelwood, rotated it, and then it's gone into the fence backwards and rolled. Catch fence has done its job.
testament to the strength in the cars. This is the Dunlop Super 2 Series leader. A wonderful job in his wild card appearances this year. Here's another angle of it. Violent impact, huge energy dissipated by the tyre barrier. And this is where the multi-point harness, the seats, the hands device that secures the helmet so that he doesn't end up with uh, a disproportionate amount of movement uh, with that kind of impact does its job. As it always is down the order and we've got more trouble with a car heavily yeah, into the, the tyre barrier at the end of the back straight. Somebody just kept turning me and turning me. I'm going to punch her and just hit the wall. Taz Douglas has hit the wall. This will trigger a safety car. Are you all right, mate? So here's the replay. We can understand more of what's happened here. So uh, Douglas has just gone straight ahead. I heard him say that he had a puncture, there was contact with somebody and he's gone straight ahead into the tyre barrier.